Down the old hat. Here we go. Welcome in and welcome to another edition of Smelly's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be messing with the crock pot. And today I'm gonna to be using some pork ass, I mean pork butt. I like to use pork rather than beef. Just has a little bit better flavor to me and it also holds up a little bit better. We have a wide assortment of stuff over here. We got a lot of different meat on this dish. We got a bunch of different bones. I have actual bone marrow right here which I got from my peeps over at Piedmontese. And then in addition to that, we have a bunch, uh, an assortment of a bunch of different things, knuckles and all kinds of weird stuff from a cow. And we got that from a local butcher. If you're kind of confused on how to do any of that, you can just go to a farmer's market. And if you start asking around, people will more than happily help you out. The recipe is really simple. We just take some bone broth, that's our base. You don't even actually need this. You can actually literally just throw the meat in there. You don't need any uh, liquid in there, but I like to kind of do it this way. Beer. Crock pot is amazing because you just dump a bunch of stuff in here and you set it, you forget it, and then the next day, magically, it's amazing. Usually, I don't know, usually 10, 12 hours later, works pretty good. Dump some salt in there. You keep in mind the meat's gonna be sitting in this for a while. So we want some good seasoning in there. Got some Montreal seasoning. This is my own Montreal seasoning that'll be coming out with soon. That has liver, kidney, heart, spleen, pancreas, and your mom's ass. Got everything in there that you need and more. Got some seasoned salt. Dump some of that in there. Give it some spice. There we go. And then we have some hardcore carnivore. This is a really good product. I actually use this on liver. This one's called Camo, and for good reason, because liver is weird to taste. To my taste, liver is weird, and this helps camouflage it. Beep. Oh my God. Some pepper. And now, we just start throwing some meat in there. Doesn't matter how we do it, just matters that we do it. Look at that, look at all the stuff on here, all the tendons and all the, all the good stuff on here. Like a lot of times it's very difficult to eat things like this, but if you chuck it in the crock pot, it all kind of melts and singes together, you can eat it all. You get all the nutrients, you end up with that kind of nose to tail theory that you hear people talking about a lot. There we go, throw a lid on it. Hocus Pocus Alakazam. Turn this into something that tastes amazing. Let's take a look, see. See what we got. Oh my God. Oh my God. Meat on meat on meat. Holy smokes. That looks so good. Let's, let's give her a try, see what we got. Scoop some out. It's kind of hard to scoop out these bones. Let's see here. Look at that. Look at what we're dealing with here. That looks incredible, look at that. Eh? Eh? Mm? All right, I'm done convincing you. Ooh, with this big old bone over here. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know if there's anything like to eat out of there, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Get some of these juices in there. I wanna bite into that plum and let the juice spill down my chin. You know what I mean? Some of that collagen, some of that bone broth. There we go. Now, that's all hard stuff. There's really nothing on there. This looks like a big old chunk of fat, but it looks like edible fat. Oh yeah, that's incredible. You will not care as much about snacking. You will not care as much about junk food because this is gonna be your new fuel source and this is a way superior fuel source. You'll be full for longer and your cups will be filled up, your nutrient cups, your nutrients for protein, your nutrients for your fats for the day and also your micronutrients 
as well as some of your vitamins and minerals. Holy shit. This is so damn good. <clears throat> I'm just trying a bunch of different pieces because there's like little chunks from all different spots. And if you look at like this guy here, this guy got like crispy. Kind of hear that. And that almost looks a little bit like, almost looks a little bit like beef. Pork butt. Oh my God. This is freaking amazing. All right. Let's get some people in here to try this stuff out. Because I think it's amazing. But well, let's see if anybody else thinks it's amazing. All right, well, there you have it. Made some pork butt in the old crock pot. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.